Let's see if this time it works. This is the third time today. Ready to restart the internet again. And uh, finally it stopped raining. If it was um, windy, I was not going to try. Because, I mean, I've lost some computer parts last year. Almost a year ago, exactly. So I'm not going to like be messing around with trying to play or even let the computer on during thunderstorms but it was some low um low rain not low light rain <laughs> low rain light rain for like five hours so i think the um the infrastructure gets screwed so that's the l'oreal mansion i remember this first area and i couldn't Pass here. I can do shit. I could only get to here and then this didn't produce any fruits. Sells slaves. I remember that. Yeah, I don't know how to pass to the other side as well. But I should definitely try to destroy the. Um, how can I say? The environment now. Because it was prompting me. And that was yesterday, in the, the beginning of the streaming. Not, no, not the beginning. By the end of the streaming, sorry. That I could actually, like, actively destroy part of the scenario. So I have to point to shit now. To see if I can destroy shit. Like that bridge. Or pass passage whatever was kind of obvious that it would give me a path and hopefully we have frame rates now that are not dropping so I can play this game in peace but yeah that's the first area you first get here is the lower mansion and then I have to cross here nothing special nothing out of the ordinary Dude, I, I it's it's impossible for me to say that out of the ordinary this is not hard right i want to try to get there as well but i don't know if i can get there I tried before fell here and died so well, yeah i'm going to be pointing these two places from time to time to see if this is like obvious places so maybe i can Find a boss here at this mansion. Let's try that. Okay, so no dropping frame rate so far. That's kind of <clears> fine. <throat> oh, oh yeah. Okay. They're having like rough sex. There. What the fuck? Talk, talk about the Vagrant Writers Union. Sorry, girl, have you heard of the Vagrant Writers Union? Yes. I think I've heard of it. Is this union of playwrights? You understand our art quite well for an outsider. I'm the first of the three great comedy writers of the union, Opalis. You may already know this. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not too late to get to know me now. Where are the other members? Oh, my biggest foes and friends. The only two who can understand my madness. Kratis and Aristophanes. Kratis? He's in the black streets. I don't. I know the house, but Aristophanes. Um, this name is not. I think I, I, I remember, but I. I'm not sure. They were shocked by my talent, so they left. Extraordinary. I really hope so, but I don't actually know where they went. I was so lonely. Even though people are born alone and free, I still hope that someone can walk the same path as me. But this is why we must continue to write comedies, because if not for that, we have nothing. By the gods, I'm so excited. Listen to his anecdote about a bear. Have you heard of a bear that can write plays? A bear? I've seen brown bears, but I don't think they're what you're talking about. Legend has it that there's a bear that can only write plays. Its purpose was to create this city. You mean the bear is a god? No, even the gods of stars were created by that bear. It can it can even convey its beliefs through me. What the fuck? What beliefs? 
rather than just write about ideals, we should do something to change the world. But you're still just writing comedy, so even that bear, that's the essence of comedy, irony. Irony is most appropriate way of, is the most appropriate way of commentating about life. Oh shit, I lost a, a sentence now. They're one and the same, because only a madman can spy through the veil of the throne into the scary sky and make it out alive. By the gods, I'm so excited to leave. Okay, lost that line. Let me see if I can make him repeat. He leaves. Rather than just write about ideas, should do something to change the world. She's she writing comedies so that it will bear a severity, comedable life. We can figure out if you're improvising, improvising or simply mad. Okay, cool, cool. So the guy's improvising. The passage is here, but I want to finish exploring this mansion because there may be a boss somewhere. The singer is still singing. Oh, she's here, but I can't like hear her voice. Weird. Definitely weird. Oh. It's not it's not like I'm going to be facing a boss in, in, in the mansion here. So I should definitely keep looking for the passage in other places. What is this? Go away, I'm not in the mood. Okay. So here that let's, let's go. To the sewers. Oh yeah, I remember now this place is mostly sewers. Well, now I have to find a place in the sewers that there is going to be a boss. I need to wreck it just to have it be the last one that I interacted. So that I come here in case of death. So when I start to go there, but this... Place? No, I can't go there actually when I start, I have to go here. Well, I have another 55,000. But I don't think I can upgrade anything I got right now. Yeah, okay, so there's this chest. Interesting. 
I have to remember to point and stuff to things that are breakable. So I have to figure things that might be breakable to see if I can break them. Like I did in the other scenario. Because I just discovered this. It's not like I am like the master now of... So like I'm the master currently of breaking things. It's kinda harder than that. Oh what? What? You need to fire? See, some things are breakable, like this. Yes. But then I have to prompt things that are going to be scenario that aren't going to modify what I can do, where I can go. Almost totally lost. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, I lost all of the fairies. Okay, I got the three now. <laughs> it's still like the game makes okay. There's no lost frames now. We're good. Finally, internet is fine. It's not raining anymore. No interference of any sort. Let me see the one that is powerful. I think it's just the light. Yeah, the lightning. I don't know if I can break anything here. The statue, like, like I don't know. It's not easy. Like I, I have to look for these things everywhere because I just discovered it right I just discovered it in the last scenario so I should try to look for them the scenarios past and the ones in the future especially the black streets because that's where I struggle the most to try to find a way up so I don't know and I'm here just looking for this box. But not finding it. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, really? You again? Have I killed this thing? Did they respawn? What the fuck is this? Oh, leaky. Oh, so it, it, this one was left. I didn't got this one apparently. I just lost it. Three times that I passed here, I lost this thing. I didn't see it. Oh. 
Oh, come on, I parried that. So, are you doing this? Oh, come on, I, I failed two of the presses. That's on me, I failed twice, but anyways, let's keep going. Like I said, this is complicated. There's many places to go. Alright, there's this thing here. I have to find that big area that um, a boss might be there. I think. Have I just been here? Labyrinths. Game is complex. No, yeah, come on, I, I, I came from here. Let me try to find that big area in the beginning. That's amazing. Come on, attack me, motherfucker. Well, a little patience, and I guess. So, what do we have here? Oh, that's the elevator, sure. But it's not exactly where I want to go right now. I'll, I'll press it. That's probably where I'm going to go afterwards, but I want to find that main place. The big, big area. That's probably a boss arena. No, there's no shit. Oh, just found it. It's down here. There's three big crabs, right? Three big crabs here. Lots of damage. Oh, come on. Oh, I knew it. I heard it on my side. 
Oh, come on. It still hit me. Sorry. Oh, come on. I press Perry on the third one. Okay, now I didn't press anything. Everything is hitting me now, god damn it. Dude, there's three of you, of course I'm going to kill you from up here. There's one more. Right. Here. There's probably a boss here. Because that's the place that resembles an arena the most. Okay, I thought I was going to die from this fall, so good that I didn't. Right, I don't know where he fell from, but I have to look for the boss here, because it's probably here. If there's a boss, this is the arena. Yeah, like this place should have some places for me to click or something. Three souls. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I remember this. Yes, not you. It's probably not an entrance. And that's going to be the last thing that I have in my imagination of a boss that is going to be new in this whole area. Well, nothing here. So fucked. Oh. 
we were supposed to go. Where is this boss? Like it's really... Also I need to keep trying to modify the terrain to see if I can get new areas, new places, new bosses. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. Ouch. Decent blocks, berries. I always say, I always say block. I, I have a hard time saying berry for some reason. check everything looks and sounds good dude first of all thank you thank you for being here and, and saying hi but it's the third time that i tried today because my internet has been uh, dropping frames because it has been raining for more than five hours in the city now so far so it stopped raining 30 minutes ago and then i decided okay it's time to try it again and then it's working <laughs> well thank you for being here man thank you I hope that you sleep well after this, probably... Hey, no, you just woke up, didn't you? You just woke up, and you're waking up very early. Or, you're up very late and you should be sleeping. <laughs> what are you doing? It's late, dude. Rainy all day here too, cold and miserable. Yeah, it's not like this all the rainy days on this city, but some of the rainy days I would say like... Okay, it's, it's pretty rare to rain here, right? It's the city is very dry, so it rains for like three months in the year, and it rains like um, half the week during these three months that are the hot months here. And in five to ten percent of the days, I can't play. I can't even turn on the computer because some of the rains are thunderstorms. And some of the rains that are just the torrential rain that rains for like 10, 20 hours, 5 hours, whatever, and this infrastructure started to, starts to, goes to shit. Oi, by the way. <laughs> Oi. Uh, sleep is a weird concept. Good day. <laughs> sleep is a weird concept, yes. I was... You know what I've been having lately? I've, I've been having dread. Like some fear of falling asleep. That's one of the reasons that I tend to just uh, tire myself to exhaustion so that I can the moment that I lay on the bed I, I, I faint basically I don't know since I was like 14 I, I didn't like the possibility of no existence even though it doesn't make sense philosophically and logically but it's it's still weird to me today that I just let myself go and then I vanish from existence for like some hours and then I woke up again and everything, everything the way that I left things <laughs> and i don't know it's weird and okay it looks like this place is explorable where my mouse is it, it looks like it and this place too i mean there's many other places to explore i hope but sometimes i dream and then there is some reality in there because it's you in your mind and this, this doesn't even make sense with my faith my faith is, is there's huge explanations for that I have that since 2020 I haven't slept well since 2019 okay that's a little too much but uh, I sleep well I sleep profoundly but I have dread <laughs> like before sleeping so that's why I uh, work out and then I decide to get wasted before I go to sleep and this crazy schedule of mine helps because, for example, I just woke up. I woke up. No, I didn't just woke up. I, uh, no, come on. I woke up like four hours ago. I've been trying to stream some for some time now. I decided today I'm going to start streaming 9 p.m. Brazil time, which is like, which like no, which is 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I tried first time 9:30 because I'm messy. I'm chaotic. I'm sorry failed i tried again 10 something 
close to 11 p.m. failed and then I, I because of the dropped frame right and then I just restarted the internet for a second time waited for like 30 more minutes finished the film that I was watching Sicario amazing then it's good now weed and sleeping pills are helping but I don't take them out at all I'm extremely against medicine or uh, substances in your body that are not food coffee included cave caffeine and that's just because of, of my nutrition degree and everything that I learned there. And I try to make my mother consume less shit, but I don't preach that as much because I'm addicted to sugar and it's kind of hard. <laughs> like I, I can spend some days without sugar or sugary things, but it's, it's, I understand people that are addicted to nicotine and, and medicine and things because it's um, the more routine and stability I have with mental occupation the less I crave for sex and sugar so lately <laughs> thankfully I'm really working on my discord bots my discord my YouTube channel, a new YouTube channel that I'm preparing for Ashes of Creation, that is a game that I'm putting all my my ads on, and this stream here too, because I really like the, the, the RPGs that I put myself to play. So yeah, I've been having my mind very stable regarding sugar and the other little thing. But I never, I tried weed one time, and it was the greatest, or one of the greatest sleeps of my life. But um, it was one joint from a friend that he, he would have the plants in little vases in his house here in Berga. He was not married, but he had a child. We were Brazilian. Um, he, he, he was like a model. No, not, no, he was a model. A guy, like taller than me. He was like six foot one. And he taught English in Brazil. Very young. And he died, I think, eight years ago in a car accident in the United States. So, yeah, shitty. So, yeah, he he presented me with joints. And he had one prepared for me, one for him. We tried sake for the first time. And he taught me to play Pong this day. It was cool. And I swear to God, I slept on the floor with my head on like my backpack that barely had anything had like a change of clothes that I ended up not using and I slept like a baby with one joint and like three three hundred milliliters of sake possibly in my system <laughs> and a lot of beer so yeah that was great but yeah I that's why I like to get really exhausted so that I get to the bed and I just faint. Just and then I wake up. I have to like work out, to organize. I open the door. I do try to organize myself. I don't know where this boss might be. Uh, okay, maybe the premium blower. Let's try the premium blower. Drink water, by the way. Secret for youth is just drinking a lot of water. Exercising helps. Sleeping well helps. Less stress helps. But water probably is the, the biggest factor on, on uh, being and feeling young. So I come from here, from the elevator, from the sewers that I didn't take because I took the teleporter. And then I already went to the left path that is guarded by a bowl that is probably here again. There is the bowl. And in here there is a temple. Oh yeah, I have to keep looking shit up because I destroyed the terrain yesterday. And I have to verify if there are things that are going to be modifiable. 
I posted a YouTube video about it, okay? Like 50 second YouTube video about destroying the terrain here in Asterigos. You can check the YouTube channel, I can show you later. Like, I can play my own YouTube video here. But, yeah, you can interact with the terrain sometimes. So I have to just go back to all the places and check everything possible to see if I can modify the terrain. Rare. Still nothing happened. So, you still didn't sleep today, I, I'm, I'm figuring. Right? <laughs> I know that Team Chop sleeps normally an hour and a half from now. And Titan Zebra should be sleeping. <laughs> and he's not sleeping for some reason. So, I don't know. I don't have a time to... Oh. I can talk to you? Aren't you the host of the Trials of Remission? Five days ago I ate a big edible and was out, man. Big edible. I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume that there was like a... a hemp muffin? Is that what you're saying? Like, by edible? Okay, with edible. Okay, okay. This is not a thing in Brazil yet. Like, uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is a thing in Brazil. But it's still illegal, so it doesn't sell in stores or anything like that. But I have exper- Oh, yes, I experimented the second time. Weed, I remember now. In the birthday of a friend. Was a friend of a friend actually, but he invited so many people. He's just like rich. He lives in a big country house in the middle of the city. Like imagine, like country house in the middle of the city. Huge, basically a mansion. I was in his class of of English, and um, he, one of the friends that he invited, this girl, she had a bunch of. Um, just, uh, we don't have a word for that in English, it's Brigadeiro. Brigadeiro. In English, how do, how do people refer to that in English? Yeah, it's not, it's no, there's no translation. So what I can have is the Brigadeiro recipe. Brigadeiro recipe, okay, look at that. This is a Brigadeiro, okay? It's, it's, um, okay, you can, you can see the video here, sure. Let's go back to the beginning, this is Brigadeiro. Okay, I don't want you to lose my video because of music. Yeah, I'm going to remove the music anyways. Do you do you, are you seeing? Are you following? This is lovely. We love this here, god damn it. <laughs> this is so fucking good, seriously. It's really good. This is one of the first things that you learn to appreciate in Brazil. <laughs> Because this is from uh, children's parties, right? <laughs> so good. So, I, and then I had one of those of weed. But I was drinking also and I didn't feel anything differently. I was just drunk by the end of the party, so I didn't feel any effect. I It tasted like fucking weed, and but I it like, there was no effect at all. At all. I had two, like, big bombs of brigadier. So I woke up and decided, hey, I should stream. I felt great and was okay, but after starting the stream, the weed kicked in again. I was trying my best to have good conversations because it was not good. Oh, yes, rum kugel. We just have rum in them. Rum? Okay, so that's not going to be for children. It's condensed milk, okay? Condensed milk with butter, right? And then cocoa powder. You mix sure after you heating it up, you have to cool, uh, cool it off. And then you make the balls and you get the chocolate flakes on the sprinkles. Yeah, chocolate sprinkles. Beautiful. I think my favorite is not even Brigadeiro. My favorite is Cajuzinho. Cajuzinho recipe. Cajuzinho is incredible. This thing here is out of this world. Look at this shit. This is um, peanut. All right. Where? What the fuck? Um, 
you will see it's very close okay R by the way let me yeah yeah correct let me get that um let's go for cajuzinho first cajuzinho you use condensed milk butter um peeled off peanut saltless toasted and ground um uh, powder chocolate powder sugar and some some uh whole uh, uh peanuts to to decorate right that's it it's a little bit of chocolate a bunch of ground uh, uh, peanut with sugar and uh, I, it's this is amazing god damn it oh there's uvinha Grip surprise, yeah, okay, Rokum Gang. German rum balls, yeah. It starts with rum, so it's not for kids, but it's very similar. Let's go. Recipe, come on, just give me the ingredients, god damn it. Where are the ingredients, dude? One of my dreams is going to Germany and, and tasting the patisserie, is how you say, I don't know, pastries there. Because um, Germany is famous for that, right? Cakes and, and pies and, and the candy, different types of candy. Like, Germany is really famous for that. Okay, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, chips, butter, powdered sugar, tablespoons, cocoa powder. It's basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Oh, uh, yes, Berliner, great. Berliner, let's go. Berliner. And let's look, the grape surprise. Grape surprise, e, e, yeah, it's the same thing, yes. It's a sweet with a grape inside. I love this, I, I fucking love this. Why? Because when I was a kid, there was no such thing as a seedless grape. So I love grapes, but I don't like the seeds. I don't, I don't eat watermelon today because of that, for example, I really don't like the seeds. So what happens is that I, um, I'll go and I would have these sweets here that the the people here will make them in the times that there was just uh, grapes with seeds. They would remove the seeds so that it's a good candy, right? And together with the sugary thing that is around, it's just amazing. And it's probably that. It's probably sweetened condensed milk. Yeah, exactly that. Sweetened condensed milk with sugar. I, I know the rest. Yeah. Butter. Okay, let's go. Vanilla. Yes. Green food coloring. Yes. Green grapes. Granulated sugar. Yes. Exactly. So no juice leaking out. Otherwise, the candy dough will look messy once wrapped around the grapes. So you pierce the, the grape and you take off the seeds. I don't know how they did. But it was incredible. <laughs> so nowadays you have these seedless grapes, right? Now let's see what burn it. Oh god. Oh I know now. Okay, no, I don't know. I, I thought it was a, a a store name. It's a donut. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, so let me Google here. German. Okay, let's go famous German pie. Three most popular German pies. <laughs> they are so good. Let's try here. Okay. Weimar uh, I can't pronounce this shit. Let's let's go for for Google. Come on. I want to pronounce this. We eat cake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You eat cake a lot. No, 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 that's not what I wanted, no. Weimarer Zwiebelkuchen. Weimarer Zwiebelkuchen. Weimarer Zwiebelkuchen. Weimarer Zwiebelkuchen. Weimarer Zwiebelkuchen. Okay, Weimarer Zwiebelkuchen is the first one. Looks to be a salty one, right? What? It, there's no recipe. Deeply intertwined with the tradition of the annual Weimar onion fair oh shit oh this must be good the weimaha's ribbon cooking is an onion tart consisting of a yeast dough base that is layered with gently fried onion slices oh god i already had dinner but this is great 
and top it with a mixture of eggs and sour cream. God damn it. You can stub upon those lovely tarts in October during the Onion Fair. Okay, let's go there. Onion Fair. Now I want to know. <laughs> uh, why ma? Onion Festival, why ma? <laughs> oh my fucking god. It's an Onion Festival. <laughs> Let's go for Weimar here. Let me see where that is. Weimar. Okay, Weimar is a city. Okay, it's a city close to where? Airford. So this is very specific. Very, very specific. Do you know about that? Very German, close to me. Oh shit, look at this. And the arrangements, they're beautiful. Yeah, we have different types of onions here too. My mother prefers the um, um, purple ones. I don't care. I love onions. Doesn't matter how. <laughs> Look at this shit. Okay, so there's art. There's all kinds of food, probably. In uh, close to my city here. Close to my city? No. Connected to my city, there's a city called Kaete. Kaete? No, it's not Kaete. It's another city. I forgot the name now. That is famous for Jabuticaba. I don't know how to say Jabuticaba in English. Probably there isn't. Jabuticaba. Yep. There's no word for it. So there is a festival, Jabuticaba. A Jabuticaba festival. Look at this. It grows on the trunk these little uh fruits here they're sweet they're just like um like little berries sweet very sweet they're amazing you can just go about just eat all of them hey how is your day hey april april pie how are you doing we are talking about food here um and by the way when i all tab i should have like a i don't know some some jazz that i like to listen let me put some some chill out here because i'm going to be talking about food a little more just choose something okay this one i like this one a little loud all right so this thing it grows a lot here and we have festival de jabuticaba in what's the place what's the place i forgot the name of the sabara sabara is the city yeah it's the city that's connected here you don't understand i ate every dish every dish no many dishes of jabuticaba i had some ice cream of jabuticaba i had some wow i it blanked me what Cotton candy of Jabuticaba. I had a, a salty soup of Jabuticaba. Like you, it, this is a fucking sweet thing. It's it's amazing. So they produce everything. The the town hall of this city is a small city, very close to here, almost connected to the metropolitan area of the city of Belo Horizonte. The town hall. Uh, okay, there is a tax. Brazil is full of taxes. We are one of the countries that. Tax is the most the population, unfortunately, so whatever. So, uh, there is a tax called IPTU. That is an annual tax that you pay every January regarding the constructed area of your house. That's it. That's the explanation of IPTU. It doesn't matter the size of your land. It matters the constructed size of the constructed area. If you have more floors in a small land, you're going to pay more, for example. And it, uh, people need to pay this because in a very off chance that the town hall needs your land for some public uh, thing like a viaduct or, or whatever they will pay you compensation because they are going to force you out of your house right they will pay you compensation um proportional to the ipto that you paid so if you imagine this you have a house, I'm explaining taxes in Brazil now, but it's it's interesting because I studied this a lot. We You have a house like with a small land area, but has like five floors. 
so your house was very expensive to build and all but you never declared the second up uh, second to up floors so you pay little IPTU and then the government decides that your house is the perfect place to have a healthcare center so it's going to buy your house demolish your house and have the healthcare center so it's going to pay your house in the market um, pricing of your declaration of IPTU that you declare to have just the first floor that's going to be cheap like that's one of the other things also there's another one that they randomly every year they do some kind of verification very randomly of people that didn't pay and then they tax these people and find these people like very harshly so yeah brazil pays a lot of taxes people in sabara that have jabuticaba trees in their lands they are exempt of paying IPTU. <laughs> that's very famous here in in the area so that people in Sabara just fucking have the trees so because most citizens in Sabara have trees of Japuticaba the city for centuries now has a tradition of just preparing food all kinds of foods the first time that I had contact with this was when I taught a student I mean she's a PhD in fucking geology but she didn't know English as much as she knew French and Spanish so I was teaching her and she her mother is from Sabara so she in the day of the teacher teacher's day here is 15 of October she gave me a kit like a wine a liquor a juice and a, a, a jelly all of uh, 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 like jabuticab it's great <laughs> Okay, that looks freaky. I'm going to need to import a tree. Wow. Hey, I know that playlist. Eminent rights. This is called Eminent Domain in US. Eminent? Really? I didn't know that. So Eminent, okay, I explained many things and didn't read the chat. So what is Eminent exactly of what I said? Is it EPTU? Is it exemption from pain because you have a good tree? We have another of these weird taxing things with the Picos Italiano Pega here. Ficus Italianus is this majest not this one, this one, this majestic tree that in my old cell phone that was robbed, of course, I had a collection of photographs of them of in the whole city. I had like 30 photographs. They are very frequent in, in, in this city specifically because JK JK, this guy here, Juscelin Kubitschek, he is the guy responsible for building Brasilia, our capital that was built from scratch. He decided this is a good place for a capital, so he brought people from all over Brazil, they built the capital from zero, and most of the workers gained the land. All right, so he was fam very famous for that, and he made this very effective plan of 50 years in five of just industrializing Brazil for automobile industry. So yeah, this guy is very famous. But he was a bohemian guy in this city, in Belo Horizonte. And he used to go to Casa do Baile, that is a very beautiful place in the Lake Pampulha here. We have a beautiful lake here that is an artificial lake. And he made a house on top of the lake that has these uh, lakes inside. The house already on the shore of this artificial lake that is in the city and he made some ponds in the house and he would throw many parties there for the high society of Belo Horizonte, this city. And when he started to live here, I don't know the story behind, but uh, before this, but when he started to live here, he had visited Italy and he found, fell in love with this um, fig tree in Italy. So legend says i probably if i google this i will find the correction of the myth but people from here told me this myth so i'm going, just going to tell the way that i've been told uh they he got seeds and he ordered them to be planted all over the city so that's why you have those but then this beautiful tree here is a colossus this is the biggest tree i've ever i have ever seen not this okay let's go this one this one, this one, this one, this one. Look at no, seriously. I know this 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 corner. I have many photographs of this corner here of this area. This ah, uh, it's a small photograph. God damn it. Oh yeah, whatever. So this tree is so big and majestic and powerful that it destroys walls and and um, sidewalks. 
So what happens is that uh, we have one of one no probably we have the greenest city in the whole brazil and this is because of policies of the town hall so the town hall he, they fine you something like five thousand dollars if you cut an old tree that is in your house so people that have ficus they have to enter uh, with like they have to sue the town hall to be able to to cut down the ficus tree that they have in their terrain because the ficus tree uh if the ficus tree is going to eventually destroy their houses and this happens frequently here but yeah we have either the most or the most green city in all of brazil because the 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 town hall doesn't allow you to cut off your trees if you have your tree cut down anybody even the neighbors can denounce you and you are going to buy pay four or five thousand dollars so converted in brazilian reais like it's twenty thousand reais it's a lot of money uh government rights to seize property oh eminent rights yes biggest trees i ever saw was that redwood forest yeah, okay i have to visit this one day god damn it that thing is like what the fuck <laughs> but that's the biggest tree that i've seen it's it's it, there is this complex layer like multi-layer of colors it's so interesting look at this there's many here i don't know this place Oh, it's Bengal fig. It's India, probably. But yeah, we have many in Belo Horizonte. This is the... Okay, this is the municipal park. It's a park in the middle of the city. It's so beautiful. Look at that. So, yep. Fig trees. German pastry. Okay, let's go for apple tarts. I have to Google that. Oh, apple pie. I tried one one day. Didn't like that much. It was well done and all, but I'm not a, a, a an apple appreciator. Okay, you're very welcome here, apple pie, but I don't like the apple fruits. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, let me let me open the Discord again and do the thing because I always forget. The Discord should be always on. Okay, so I have one in my. Oh, now this is. Oh, so this is probably Twitch now. Okay, it's it's confusing. So let's oh visit redwoods. Oh shit! Oh no, I, I know this. I know this. I have many photographs. Uh, uh, I've seen many photographs. There is one very famous photograph of one that is carved in, so the cars can pass inside of it. I think these are either the biggest or one of the biggest trees that there is that, that exists in the world, right? Okay. So now let me see this. First of all, let's pronounce this. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I'm going to check. Zwiebelkuchen. Oh, it's the same word for the other one. Zwiebelkuchen. So this is the Zwiebelkuchen. And this here is a Weimar Zwiebelkuchen. So there is a little difference, probably. What? I don't see a difference. Okay, it must be tasty. <laughs> Do you like pineapple pizza? Okay, let's go. Oh my god. No, I don't like pineapple. I d Brazil has something called chocolate pizza. For me, it's just a blasphemy. Why? Why the fuck do you do this? It's... Uh, no, not okay. Why pineapple pizza is great? This is not okay. It's not okay, dude. Like, what is wrong if you having this? God damn it. No, 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 no. And we have these um, places here with Hojizio. I mean, let's go again. I don't think we have this word in Hindi. No, we don't have this word. Um, really? No. No, 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 you don't have this word. Ah, how do I... S I think I have to explain this. I think I have to explain. Because it's not an all you can eat. You pay a fee to eat in a restaurant. And you can eat as much as you want, but you can only eat what is served to you. You cannot go to a place and serve yourself because there's no place to be served. You sit on the table and you pay the fee and that's it. Or you can be out of this fee that is called rodízio, okay? It's like rotation in Portuguese. And you can order directly, I want that pizza. And you can have that pizza for that price. But normally, for example, most famous rodízios here are the barbecue rodízios and pizza rodízios. So, the price of a giant pizza is the price of the Hojizu. So, a giant pizza has eight 
large slices of pizza and you can have date slices but i particularly i have like 10 12 15 slices of pizza if i go to rodizio so if i pay just for a giant pizza it's i'm going to be losing money in the night of a rodizio so in rodizio it's very common by the end of the night like the rodizio starts like 6 7 p.m by 11 p.m or midnight when it's the things already played the place is already uh, uh closing they start to serve uh fruit chocolate cream pizzas and i'm like yeah okay give me that and then i scrape it eat the cream but i refuse to eat with the dough like why just give me a pie god damn it i don't see why <laughs> Chicken curry, pineapple pizza. Oh my god, but yeah, that's cursed. That is totally cursed. I want to try. It looks tasty. We have that here. Lots of Brazilian Rodizio. Yeah, man. So, Rodizio Churras. I'm, I'm getting hungry again. They bring the meat to you like this. They get these little swords. They put on your... On your... Uh, on Like, vertically on top of your dish. And they ask you, well done or rare? If it is well done that you ask, they, they are going to cut thin slices on the exterior. If you ask for rare, they are just going to, to cut the deep slices with like bigger... But it's This is amazing. God damn it. <laughs> Brazil is very... Brazil and South America in general, because lately I've been... Lately, no. In the last 15 years I learned that Uruguay and Argentina, they have a, a barbecue culture stronger than ours in brazil as a whole but brazil's south region has the same culture of uruguay and argentina so brazilian south uruguay and argentina they have basically the same they bury their meat or they make it like hanging okay um you're asking teha look look at this this is a, a normal uh What's traditional costume? What costume? <laughs> traditional clothes of Bra Southern Brazilians. They fucking bury the meat. Look, look at this. Or they do like this. It's very, very cultural in the south of Brazil to have these kinds of things. Oh my god, look at this. Oh shit. Jesus, dude. It's all sorts of things. Like every. Basically, every. Bra what the fuck? Every Brazilian that you um, uh, meet, like, it doesn't matter if it is a woman. No, no, no. Okay, this is okay. This is mostly men, but some women. So most men, Brazilian men that are 20 years old or older, they are going to know how to cook in a barbecue. I know now. I when I was 15, I learned basically because I had when I was 15, I must have been to 50 barbecues already when i was 15 i started going like in when i was 12 because it involves alcoholic beverages i didn't drink by then but it's it's so cultural people just have an excuse and they're going to roast a meat that's what we say here and then there's so many techniques some people they season with beer and sometimes with, with just the big salt and they they hit the meat later so that the pellets of salt just fall. Um, we have that here, lots of Brazilian hojis. Yeah, Brazilian hojis is very famous around the world, right? Because it's so different for other cultures to just have meat arriving in your dish every time. <laughs> every time. It's so cool. But at the same time, I use it to... I spent uh, six months making a little tour around one big company here in brazil that's one company that my father and his company provide a service for my father arranged this job for me to preach against a diet of only beer and barbecue that's a very common diet for truck drivers in brazil beer barbecue not even water seriously so this like gives a lot of diabetes uh, hypertension and many other problems right um yeah so i i love barbecue but um oh we have something called wow i was going to say and then it vanished from my hand 
Jesus. Come, come on, man. Um, I forgot the name even in Portuguese. Like it's onion, pepper, uh, some garlic, some vinegar. God damn it. Vinagrete? Like how do you forget this? Vinagrete is very common in Brazil. That's it. Look at this. Okay, no, I wanted images. Sorry. This is a, so barbecue. Very traditionally, in the whole Brazil is white rice, vinagrete, and sh uh, barbecue churrasco. Right. This is uh, tomatoes, pepper, some uh, some um, oh shit, parsley, and onion. All fresh, nothing cooked. All fresh and vinegar. That's it. It's this is so fresh, like when you are starting to feel heavy because of beer and just meat and rice, you have like three spoons of this, you're fine. This, I don't know the sometimes there's there's olives, right? I don't, I mean I know as a nutritionist it's because of the acidity, the acidity and the excess of water that this has, it's it's like it, it gives you a, a relief. In your stomach. <laughs> it is really good. This is really fucking good. Look at this. Like uh, my mouth is already watering just by looking at this. It's very cold. Man, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm just doing this because I'm I um uh, I had dinner just now. It was just a snacks dinner. I didn't even have like proper dinner. My mother every Monday she goes to a charity work that she does. She sells there and they bring food. Like they, they um, put in like today two are going to give food and then the other day two. My mother today was the one that uh, took food to the place and she brings back a lot of food. So yeah, I had just snacks. I, it's just like I had I had just cake. <laughs> this dinner, right? Cake, some pastels, right? And another type of cake and another type of cake. So three types of cakes and some pastels. Pastel, I, do we have pastel in English? Every time I do this, I I think it's the same word, right? Fried pastry, okay. Well, let's go for German. Gebratenes Gebäck. Really? It's just a word, pastel? No, it's not the same. Not at all. No, 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 no. It's distant from it. Okay, this is close. This is close. It looks fucking good. But it's, if I put pastel here, it's very simple. That's it. That's pastel. Okay? Pastel. So, <laughs> it's a fried pastry with some um, filling inside. That's it. The most traditional one is the meat pastel. It's a ground meat with some greens in it. In this dough. In the city that I live, that we have so much abundance of cheese, there's cheese pastel. And that's it. Oh, God. Oh, look. This is the best one. I've had, I've lost count of so many lunches that I had just like eating three of those with some water or some, I don't know, beverage, like lemon juice or something. You have three of those? It's a fucking lunch. <laughs> it's, this is like huge, a normal one. It's like this is a little larger than my cell phone. <laughs> it's a lot of food. I love his soys, camarão. His soys. Okay, he's so de camarão. Ah. Let's see the he's so. Ah, okay, it's the same thing. It's a smaller pastel with a um, thicker dough, right? And we have something in, in Berlin called empada. In Berlin, no, in, in the whole Brazil. Empada is this dry dough. Sorry, this dry dough. In the whole of Brazil, it's very traditional to have chicken in Pada. But in the northern region, if you say in Pada, it's intended that it's shrimp in Pada. That is camarão, right? Um, the Jamaican beef patties remind me of that love a good patty spiced. Of that love a good patty spiced. Oh, what? Okay, beef patty, let's go. I know what a beef patty is. But... Uh, okay, cool, cool. All right, that's a beef patty. 
Oh jeez. Jamaican beef patties recipe. Oh shit. So yeah, it's just like a okay. And in the city that I live, we have pastel jambu. There is this yellowish dough because it's it's we use angu. What is angu? Angu is a processing of the corn. So it's it's just making pastel, but just with the angu. That is a processing method of a method of processing the corn. So oh god, food, water, drink water. I have to find the boss in this this place that I was looking at. Over with food now. <laughs> Let me continue the boss. <laughs> Let's go for the boss. Seeing you here must be the will of the gods. Oh, I can talk to him. Is there anything I can answer for you? Why are you here? I'm quite curious about your presence here. It's Trinity Night. As a priest at this shrine, I must witness this miracle and be bathed in the divine light. This is the moment when the gods of stars are closest to us, and it's also the most important and sacred moment in Aphis. Ask about the magic of the Trinity Night. Aphis has a lot of magical energy, and now it's even stronger. Is this also because of the Trinity Night? I'm surprised that you notice it. Yes. When the stars from a perfect equilateral triangle form a perfect equilateral triangle, the gods of stars will be closest to Aphis. The divine grace from the gods of stars will reach its peak tonight. An abundance of astral energy will be felt in every corner of Aphis. The grace of gods will make individuals gifted with magic even stronger. I've never had a, heard of such a phenomenon before. What a wonderful miracle, don't you think so? Ask about where he works. I remember you said you're a priest. Do you work in a small temple nearby? Sometimes, yes. But the place I dedicate everything to is the Astro Henon in Kailan Summit. Oh, by the gods, I miss that time so much. Is it different from any ordinary temple? Mind your words, outsider. The Astro know is the highest temple in all of Aphis. Oh, I'm offending the guy already. It contains the history of Aphis and the supreme treasure bestowed upon us by the gods of Star, the Nexus. No place is more sacred or noble than the Astro Hainon. Remember this. No matter the smallest star right, or the Nexus in the Astro Hainon, or the Sacred Trinity, it all comes from the great gods of stars, without exception. Tell me, outsider, would you like to believe in the gods of stars? Follow the wind. No, I believe in the wind. I'll follow the path the wind takes me. Letting you go to Kelon Summit defiles our history. You alone are not worthy of being saved. Oh, and then he's the boss. Of course he's the boss. What was I thinking? Ouch. Okay, let me try the different energies. 34, right? 131. So it's probably cold. I don't even need to think that much. It's probably cold. Okay. My life! I'm almost dead. What's going on? Um I'll probably take damage inside. Okay, I'll take damage inside. Good. Ouch. Yeah. He thinks I'm a... Um... <laughs> His spells are very different.
is not that hard. Ouch. Out of way. Oh, come on. Seriously, motherfucker? achievement right 209,000 cool. so oh so nobody's in peace here oh shit <laughs> okay I'll make you everybody though that's what you want I parried, I parried that, I swear. Another place. Are you already cooking? <laughs> if I was, I'm, I'm getting hungry because the like eating snacks was not the greatest idea. Okay, fish going up. Let's go to the fish going up. And I still need, I need to eat more. But I'm going to eat more later. Every day my mother cooks rice and beans. But when I was living alone, every day I would cook pasta because I'm lazy. Okay, not no, that's not completely true. It's it's a lot of work to cook rice and beans. It's good that you can save for the rest of the week, but it's it's a lot of work. What is it, John? So no, pasta is, is so much faster. What do you want to ask? Well, the normal is the aphids, goblins. Personal matters. Did you find the physicoi and sticks? Yeah, I have to find sticks the physicoi and sticks. full of monsters and crazy physicoi. I'm doing the best I can, though. All right. I just. Fuck, I have to still go there. So it doesn't have anything special to sell? Let me see. I'm not really now. It's the same English. Mine still holds many secrets. You talk to this other physical right here. No. The other side. And uh, where's the other physical? Oh, oh, I think it's in that direction. Yes, that's the direction of the other physical. I 
one though. Nothing new. Alright, so let's explore here. Eventually I'll find a boss here. But wait, I think I can upgrade some shit. Totally forgot about that. Well, the two cats are sleeping so tight. I think I can show you this one here. Look at this. She's like crazy. Her head is in that direction. <laughs> okay, now I fucked up my monitor. Uh, wait, this. Okay, cool. Um, hey, sweetie, what's up? No. Oh, I didn't play correctly. Hold on. Hey, look! I found a new blueprint. Awesome, cutie! It's very detailed. Now I can make more trinkets for you. Okay, so I found the last one. So, what is it? Templar, Pilgrim, Decurion, Aphis Legion, Cult, Bone, Ritual, Protection. Do you have those? Polish and Shabby. I think it's the Shabby. I don't know. No, it's not the Shabby. I don't know. Whatever. I got good trinkets. Alright. Okay. I see I need one Scorching Blood and one Refined Stardust. Probably from these bosses. The two here maximum. Ice and Thunder. I still need the Fire and Astro in some fight. One of Fire Star Dust and one Scorching Blood. And I still need the Desiderate Star Accord to get my staff to be plus 10. I'm not even using the Hammer. I just upgraded Thank because you. I wanted to spend some Star Dust. Now let's go to the physical again. Now find the glittering deeps boss. Check your poster. Hmm. Do you remember what is this for? But I have to find the boss here anyways. that I have to block it again. underground lake probably there's going to be a boss here 
because this place looks a lot like a place that could have some bosses. Oh, come on, I need range. Already know. The game is very beautiful, god damn it. I think there's going to be a boss here, but I have no idea really. Like I said, this area looks like could be a boss here, but this is a huge area. I mean, huge. There's a light. Really? That's a lot of damage. So another temple. Praying still doesn't do anything. Think? Nothing, right? Nothing special here. shit
right? Many places here look like boss arenas. Oh shit! Didn't see this. I haven't been here, look, a new place. <laughs> oh, this game. This was not here. The light use a charging module. Wonder where it goes. Wow, okay. Yeah, if I miss this place, probably because one, I'm done, or two, it was closed before. I'm not that dumb, right? <laughs> It was probably closed before because, dude, I passed many times through here. I don't remember having seen this. Seriously. Alright. Let's enter this and see what's going on here. What's this? My last sip. Next time I'll go get some more water. Oh, Belly rubbing my cats. This is sticks. I'll have to be careful. Uh, sticks? Really? Okay then. What the fuck? So if I jump here, I go back there. Let me try this. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, as simple as that. What does it mean? Do I have a new item that I didn't notice? Are there more of those? I'm just really confused. What the fuck? Okay, before going back to sticks. Now you know what? I'm gonna go and explore sticks right now. And later I come back to find the boss that was enabled here. Because every region has a new boss according to the game itself for me. But I want to explore sticks now because there's a passage here, there's a portal directly to sticks, so why not? My cat loves belly rubbing, it's the first time that I see it. Alright. I am your sticks. Lactose cradle, yeah. That is so many times for bosses here. Oh. 
come on now. So many times here already, nothing new appearing. This guy still wants his spear, but still can't have access to it, so... I don't know, maybe I have a new thing to activate that statuette. Who knows? here. If you miss one, he's going to hit you like twice. Time to find a place now. Fucking cool that this is now like this. Okay, I, I, I never tried to interact with the three of them. I don't think I can anymore. I can only interact with the central thing here. Back to the initial place. But it's here in the crater that I can find that statue at. Yeah, probably to the other side. Not there. Dude, this game is fucking huge! There's so many things to do here. They found it. For the thirtieth time, let's try. Hmm. Something's here. I hmm. know that. Here. It nothing happens when I point at it, it's when I shoot at it. Have I tried shooting with other energies? Let me see. I have to interact with this. Hmm. And here. for that I need something that I don't know what it is. I can't interact with it when I'm here. I can only interact with it when I'm like down. Try showing these balls different things. I 
familiar scenario. But I mean, a moment of desperation, I'll try different things. Yeah, well, it's not. How am I supposed hmm. to track this Something's thing? Here. Let me see if the barrier has been lifted in that place up there. These are following me already and I don't even care. <laughs> this is funny to see this. Oh yeah, let me try to search here. Maybe we can break something. here Nothing, nothing, nothing. Try going up. See if that floor, that floor, no, that area that has a magical blockage, which has been lifted. Because there is probably where I can find the fist going to release old white brown. Nothing that I can affect, nothing shines or glows of difference like that I that tells me that I can interact with. Not that I can see at least. Rough game is rough. You're still there, dude. 
Magic barrier blocks the way. Huh? What? How the fuck am I supposed to? I have no idea still. Bury my cat in the meantime. N no, I should have teleported. Oh no, yeah, use it to teleport, teleport, yep. Let's go for the underground lake and from there to the other places. It's the most close. But I, I know that I can find a boss here. Probably. There's many open areas that could have bosses so here probably is just a matter of looking out looking looking for it looking out Places, yeah, it was not even here, but anyways, I'll go there again. Okay. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. Like seriously, it's it gives you this bliss of playing a game this beautiful. This is Unreal Engine. I don't know, probably Unreal Four, but it's 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 very well made.
so from here I, I lifted that rock over there. That was the first carrying modification that I had. <laughs> I press shift and then I stop it running. It was a little scary. So I can go up there. But for a for a exactly I don't We don't need to go there right now. No. This might be a boss. No, I don't think so. Right? Yeah, there's not something. What I climbed. Eventually, I'll find this. Come on, seriously. I'm going to be there hard. Bats. Oh, this area. Okay, this looks like a boss arena. Is there a, a very, very niche area? Okay, looks like no, there's no balls here. Something what? Where is the ball? Ouch. Let me climb here. I need my water. Let me I'll bring water. 20 seconds. That's the physical I can. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Rift observation deck. Deck. Let's go to there. That's the Titans Arena. As far as I know, they don't reuse arenas. But... Use new places that you haven't been at. Okay, another huge area that is very promising of being a boss arena.
Oh, so they destroy as well. Cool. Because he creates them and then they get destroyed when you destroy it. Oh, do Okay, fail. That's a lot of damage. Reacted poorly. There it goes. Yeah, there's a lot of climbing here, I remember now. This place is huge. So he was the camp of Marisa's parents before they died. The last camp, I mean. The last recording. And there is no more things here. And it's just the climbing. And it's a lot of climbing. Let me go back to that place over there. See if I can find there. Because this climbing here just gives me. Like, I'm tired already. But just looking at it. What? Where did it go? Ouch. I'm going to die like that. Decent damage, but not enough. Yeah, there's a place up there. Let me jump here. We're climbing. 260,000 steroids. Oh my god. Well.
Justice. Arena. What a place that I've been before. Okay, let's try to find this boss arena. Just jump here? I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Seek these arenas. Wait to observe the front deck. I'm back here. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so let's go now to the other place. Astral Depth. Eventually, I'll find this. It's not that easy. I'll try the last boss arena. Wait. Let's let's try that. Oh no! Yeah, I've been here. Yes. Oh, okay. That's the boss. Breathless. There's already things hitting me, shooting at me. Oh, come on. 
Das war so ein Doppelweg. King Rocks breathe. Okay, I can now upgrade the Astro to something. Oh, I knew about this arena, but I wanted to explore the rest because might have been another one. And this arena, there was a purple of those hangers that I got the special material for that physical over there. So now for Lucane. What's up? <gasps> Sorry. Now I need one scorching blood. Thank you. And of course, saving the game. So I killed the, the boss of the Argus Plaza, glittering depths. And the sticks. Let's go in the game, I guess. I'm going to see this one more time in this fucking place. Cursed place. Because I know now that I can point my staff to things. And what can be modified will glow. But, I mean, it's the last time that I try. I tried the uh, Hemoir. Good night. <laughs> Good night, man. I see you. Like, I started late. I wanted to have started this stream three hours earlier than I started. But I'm going to, to be going for at least another half an hour. Yesterday, I, I stayed, at, I, I think, 20 minutes later? Uh, like, 20, minute, 20 minutes after you, you left. So, I'm going to resist here a little bit more. But yeah, it's, it's just that today was this torrential rain and it was not cool at all. But I see you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep. Okay, can I modify shit? See, look at that. This looks. Ow! Ow! Where did it come from? So this looks climbable, explorable. Problem is. I don't. I don't know. I change to like fire. No, really, no. And here's the Arch Bazaar. I don't want to go to the bazaar right now. I want to click on the granary. I would love to break these walls and just explore more. And it doesn't seem to be the way.
this thing is worth a fire for me. Apparently not. Apparently nothing is modifiable in this area. And I can't jump there, I'll probably just die. Yeah, let me just go by. Oh, the War Axe encampment looks promising. I have to try to look. Before I go to the last place, right? Jump there. I think I'll die if I try. Okay, but that's it's not going to help anyway. Because you can eventually see where we need. We need a cure. Sorry. Here, it would leave it here and then nowhere else. But just need to begin. Okay, so I should start here. That's the only thing that I didn't do. I didn't point at things to see if I could break part of the scenario to create like a bridge or ramp for me to go up. Apart from that, it's rough. Okay, it seems it's not here or here. It would be a great place to start, but it doesn't seem to be here. Nothing here either. here Are you? it's just depressing god damn it So I know how to go up here. But let me try. See, nothing shows. But can be broken, demolish it, modify it. Nothing. Really nothing. Come on, I had it. Visible wall. 
Let me try going there. not here. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, no. Yeah, let me talk to the writer again. Here. See if there's something new. Yeah, he... There's, there's nothing new. In here, nothing seems to be modifiable. Let me check down. Also nothing. Also nothing. This whole area. Let's see if there's something that I can shoot to facilitate my climbing. It doesn't seem to. Let's just see you again. And conversation. here like it's 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 shining but it's the the one that interacts from the other side so nothing new here There's always nothing new. <laughs> See, there's that there. How the fuck do I get there? I have no idea. Zero idea. That and that. Oh, 
yeah, my search is done for today. Tomorrow, hopefully, it doesn't rain as much as today, and I can start this stream earlier and stream for a little more. Also, because this frustration of looking for things and not finding them is really exhausting. <laughs> but it's been good, good two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> I wanted to have started three and a half hours earlier to make like a good six hours, but I. The rain was dropping, the rain wasn't affecting the infrastructure of the city, probably, which affected the internet and made my dropped, my frames drop so much, it was impossible to watch. Like, it was, I was seeing myself, I was like, in the audio a little, so, yeah, it's, it's, that happens, that's part of the trade. So, yeah, I'll be working on the YouTube videos and I'll be um, doing other things until I go to sleep. Thank you for being here. Thank you uh, for the company, the messages, everything. I see you tomorrow. Remember to smile, drink water, and be awesome.